I'm Doug Sharp, 72-year-old rookie graphic novelist. I want to make Elon Musk mad at me. That's why I'm writing Elon Musk and his sweatshop on Mars. On June 5th, 2025, Elon Musk contacted me and asked me to visit him, giving no reason. He flew me to SpaceX headquarters in his candy apple red SR-71 Blackbird. He offered me a fist-sized emerald to come with him to Mars to chronicle his conquest of the red planet. I'm a space nut and I like money, so I jumped at the chance. I had no doubt that my job was to praise Musk to the skies. I'm no fan of Musk, but I did my job and stroked his ego on every page. I showed how he dreamed of Mars as a kid, yada yada, and how he built rockets. I launched on a starship and joined Elon's flotilla of starships rocketing to Mars. These are canned goods from the Mars Colony Company store. Sweatshop is exciting. George Soros cackled, fire the Jewish space laser. Shalom, motherfucker. The searing red beam stabbed Ron DeSantis' starship. He shouted to the world the word he outlawed because his heart hurt to hear it. The word he longed to shout since a teen. I'm gay, gay, gay. DeSantis died with the forbidden word on his lips. Elon Musk married Marjorie Taylor Greene, of course. Sometimes he dreams of her. Although his true love is his personal AI, Ain, who lives in his emerald-encrusted watch. After a boring seven-month voyage, we landed on Mars. Good on you, Elon. Then Musk made a big mistake. He fired me. Plump, balding, cisgender male, ultra mega troll Elon Space Karen Musk, a.k.a. Phony Stark, sobbed in a stuttering high-pitched mule. Fuck you, you're fired. Fuck you, you're fired. You're fucked. You're fucking fired. Elon Musk fired me. I'm free. I finally get to tell the damning truth about Elon Musk and his sweatshop on Mars. From this moment on, this book is a scathing, below-the-belt, mean-spirited tell-all. Please back my graphic novel, Elon Musk and his sweatshop on Mars.